there's way so much stuff out there. We made some good room in here yesterday. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be enough room. We're going to be stacking stuff so high. We just walked into a problem. And I've got to figure it out. You'll see here shortly what I'm talking about. Hi there, my name is Joe. And I'm Jessica. We are homeschooling natural living entrepreneurs. This is a story of how we balance it all for the freedom to live our lives devoted to our family and faith. Thanks for stopping by. Subscribe and come on in. Today is a busy day. I mean, it's all days have been pretty busy. Uh, so I say busy just because uh, lots of coming and going. And uh, it's like 8.05 now. I got to meet a lady uh, at 8.30 to sell one of those Cricut machines. And for some reason, our car horn, uh, it just the alarm system keeps bleeping by itself. Uh, so I need to get that checked out also. Hopefully it's just a battery running low in the clicker itself. Um, so if you hear some random beep, beep in the next little bit, you know why. But meet the lady, then I've got to go to the storage unit today to get some warehouse shelving that we have there. Uh, my sister is coming today to pick up my niece Bella and she's gonna let us borrow their truck and trailer for a little bit. And I wasn't looking forward to it because I thought it was supposed to rain today. We had a tropical storm roll through yesterday here in Arkansas. Uh, I forget its name, uh, but uh, it was one of our friends called it Crystal Ball because it's like Kristoff something. I don't know, but I thought it was supposed to rain today and now it's not. So it's supposed to be hot and humid, which is not fun, but no rain. And then tomorrow I've got to get all of the ace hardware stuff if you've been following along they're going to be delivering all that tomorrow so i've got to get some work in the storage unit to make room for all of that so busy day but i need to get the shipping uh because uh i'd like to try and get that done before i have to leave to go meet that lady Little dude jumped over the uh, little threshold and has been out here vacuuming in the garage. It's actually done a pretty good job. I don't know if you have a robot vacuum cleaner, but we love ours. Uh, this is not a plug. We're not gonna put a link down in the description, uh, but ours is a shark uh, and it works pretty good. So. Just got done listing some phones on Facebook and I've already got some of them sold, which is awesome. That's why we love selling phones on Facebook. So uh, fixing to sell a couple hundred bucks, I guess almost 300 bucks for the cell phones in the next couple of hours. I did. Dude, that is so fly. There we go. They're fitting in there. I was afraid that they were not gonna fit at the top. Uh, but luckily they fed just in there because I didn't want to have to cut them off any uh, but the ceiling in some places it's slightly lower than eight inches or eight feet and these poles are eight feet but we're gonna get one more here and then we still do have one more of these units in the storage unit that we'll put down here at the end once all that mess gets cleaned up uh, but for now it's just gonna sit in the corner because uh, I don't feel like messing with it. So uh, yeah, but I'm gonna show you something. But this is, that is why I wanted these shelves because you can fit them this way, stuff all lined that way. You can get stuff down on the bottom there. Stuff can go up top and uh, four shelves, 20 feet. So that's like 60 feet of space because you got each shelf five feet long. So once it's in there, it'd be 20 feet, 20 feet, 20 feet. So 60 feet of storage space. That's a lot of storage space. 
part of me wishes that uh, I would have just taken everything out, put it in the driveway, uh, and then moved it around and then moved everything back because I feel like this is taking longer than it, I should have or should have, but it's been raining off and on and it's hot outside. So maybe I did the right thing. I don't know. But it's uh, starting to get somewhat better. You can see shelves are starting to pull, fill up, which that's not going to be the final destination. I'm just getting stuff moved around. No. Installed a light there. No. Move no. these lights over. No. I'm going to get this stuff out of the way. Move these shelves over and then move that out of the way to put all of these shelves against the wall. I know it's a lot of move this to move that. In the meanwhile, I'm looking for pallets to buy and uh, I'm not finding any for the price that I want. So it's a bummer. We may, just, we may have to make a surprise trip, not a surprise trip. I think Jessica and I were thinking about driving over to Tennessee and looking at some and buying some next week if time allows. If I can't find any here in a couple of days, uh, then we're probably going to do that. But I'm going to get back to moving stuff around to move stuff around. It's so windy out here. It's so cool. Storm came through last night. It was just a lightning storm. Uh, the storms were like the lightning is going sideways and stuff. Uh, it was pretty cool and today it's uh, it's pretty cool outside. So it's nice and windy. I'm out in the garden this morning because uh, we had that tropical storm come through on Monday and then our plants were doing amazing yesterday. But then all of a sudden uh, I look out last night and a lot of our plants look like this, like that guy. And uh, all wilted and destroyed. There's another one there, another cu cucumber. That guy looks good. That guy kind of looks good. Those are looking better. Tomato plants are looking good, but I didn't make the raised beds tall enough. So when we got six inches of rain on Monday because that tropical storm, it just drowned the plants. And uh, I was so afraid. This guy right here, he looks good today. He's a little wilted there, but he looked like that yesterday. And I don't think he's gonna survive um, because there's no salvageable good leaves on there because that's just, it's toast. But these are looking good. So I was very distraught yesterday because of all that took place. The garden had just been nursed back to health, was looking good, and then another setback happens. And uh, talking to my friend yesterday, was, you know, we do have a raised bed, which does help with the drainage, but it's not tall enough. So we've got to make it taller. So moving into next year, we're going to have to make this taller and uh, probably 12 inches taller so it'll be like 18 inches deep because then it doesn't really matter how much rain you get it's not going to really drown the roots of the plants but they're battling back i'm feeling better today i'm more encouraged today than yesterday because yesterday uh, evening i was pretty upset because uh, it looked like we were going to lose our garden again but battling back motivation problem uh, today and I don't want to do anything so uh, I need to I've still got a lot to do in the garage to get it ready we've got the ace hardware stuff being delivered at 1 o'clock at our storage unit so I've got like three hours and I'm not wanting to do anything and I don't know why, but let's go take a look in the garage and I'll show you. 
kind of where we stand from the work done yesterday. See there? I don't like how that looks. This over here is not done yet uh, because I don't like these shelves. I got spoiled by these metal shelves here. If you don't remember, these ones here, I got spoiled by those. I really like how those look. These plastic shelves, not so much. I don't like those. And I've got lots in here and they don't fit exactly how I wanted. I like it in here, but it's just not home yet. And uh, I'm not feeling very motivated to do the work to make it look like home or to make it feel like home, but I've got to do something. So I uh, guess I'm gonna get busy. I don't know how, uh, I forgot my camera, so I don't know how this is gonna look. But that's a lot more stuff than what I thought it was. So this is gonna be fun. He's a skilled driver. I didn't think he's gonna be able to get uh get down, but here he comes. So let me get out of the way before I get ran over. There's way too much stuff out there. We made some good room in here yesterday. Uh, but I don't think it's gonna be enough room. We're gonna be stacking stuff so high. We just walked into a problem and I've got to figure it out. You'll see here shortly what I'm talking about. I was counting on eight pallets. That's 11 pallets. Uh, uh, all right. All right, so it may not all be ours. It may be nine pallets, which is closer. Some of those pallets go to somebody else, he was saying. I couldn't quite understand him because the engine was so loud, but... Uh, I know we can get too wide for sure. Let's open it up and see. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little dark in here, especially this camera, but it's where all those warehouse shells were right there. We still got the one that's there. But I think that's a spider. Sorry, spider. Sorry. Uh, if you're humane people, don't like spiders killing. I don't like spiders crawling around. But I think we'll be able to get it all in here. So I'm feeling better than I was a few minutes ago. But remember, I can't measure stuff. I usually have a kind of a good spatial awareness, but measuring is not my strong suit. So I'm just glad he's got a forklift and he's gonna bring it right down. I bet we can even get him to drop it right here on the edge. So. So we got that so far, we got four in here. And uh, it's like some more of what this stuff is here. It's like a back, brand new box full of damaged stuff. And uh, more of that stuff. There we go. It's getting full. That's pretty full back there. So we're full to the brim. We got, I don't know, he said there's probably fifteen, twenty thousand dollars in inventory in here in this stuff, uh, at least. So we got work to do. And uh, got some seven dust in there. It's a good time for that. Uh, probably take some flea market booth. I don't know, I'm gonna do the rest of it. But it's a lot of stuff. So, so I'm gonna leave you today because uh, I'm gonna try and go to CrossFit and uh, start figuring out how to start going through this stuff once we get the garage finished setting up. And it's kind of good, I guess, because we don't have any pallets coming in for a week or so. We've got the two that we've got to lift. We've got two from the last time to unbox. Uh, so we've got a lot of work to do. So uh, appreciate you guys hanging out today. Uh, until next time, peace.